I wanted to do a Sephora sale video on my favorite items and then what I actually purchased from this sale and why. Look, there are a lot of videos out right now about this. We all know that. Um, and a great deal of my favorite YouTubers are doing sponsored videos right now for the sale, which to be honest, I couldn't be more jealous of. However, I see those videos and these people are buying the equivalent of like thousands of dollars worth of product. Yeah, I would buy everything under the sun if I could do that too, but I can't. I limit myself to what I can justify at that particular time and that's how I did it. So I wanted to show you what I actually spent my money on from Sephora and what I actually spent my money on this time around for their sale. Look, I love Sephora. I am VIB Rouge and I'm slightly ashamed to admit it because that means I do spend an ungodly amount there every single year or at least this past year, I suppose. And the reason being is Sephora to me is where I get a lot of my skincare and my makeup, my hair care. It's also where I go to purchase things to really make myself feel good. It's kind of like a version of self-care in a way to me, but a slippery slope at that because obviously you can spend all of your life's earnings and uh, any credit you have there as well. So we don't wanna do that. So it's definitely a love-hate relationship that I have with Sephora, but I do love it and I do spend a lot of my money at that store. So let's dig into it because I know that's what we're all here for. As soon as I could, I made my purchase. I had like planned it out ahead of time. I Guys, I was ready for the sale. Me and my girlfriends were talking about what we were purchasing. So I'm actually gonna pull up the Sephora website and I'm gonna read you out and I'll put on the screen like pictures and whatnot of what I ended up getting. So I got the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz. I have been using, let's see, it's right here, the Benefit Goof Proof Brow Pencil for a really long time. And it's not as precise, it's a thicker um, application of brow product. I don't even know if that's the way to word it, but it's just like a thicker product. The actual stick of product is thicker. I don't know if this is making any sense. The Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz is so precise. It's like the tiniest speckle of a little thing that you can use to fill in your brows. And I was just really feeling like being a little bit more precise. So I got that. I used to have it in taupe, um, which is vastly too light for my eyebrows. I don't know why I got it in that color. So I got it in medium brown. But the store's all closed. Um, is that when you're purchasing online, you kind of have to guess at colors and shades. So I got it medium brown. Um, it's for, formerly called medium ash. That sounds about right because my eyebrows are fairly ashy. So the next thing I got was the Summer Fridays Jet Lag Mask. Um, so if you guys know me and if you follow me on Instagram, I talk a lot about getting samples from Sephora. I talk about this all the time. It's my favorite thing to do. I get samples constantly to see if I like products. And I love Summer Fridays. It's one of my favorite brands. I will talk about more of their items soon that I actually currently own and use every single day. Um, but this jet lag mask, their first and like key product, I have never used before. So I got a sample about a month ago and I literally use that sample over the course of an entire month. I would use little morsels at a time and I'm talking like a plastic flat, one of those little like baggy samples, like not a big one. Um, and I literally seeped every last morsel out of it. I used it as like an eye mat or an eye cream under my eyes. I used it as a moisturizer um, and I loved it. I really, really loved it. So it's a bit of a pricier item. It is sold out right now, but it will come back in stock. So just so you know, that's one of the items I got. Then I got the Cora Organics Noni Glow Face Oil. They were sold out, so they only had the mini size available, which looks like they still do. So that's what I got next. I had heard a lot of good things about this one, so I wanted to pick it up. I used to be a really big fan of oils and use them constantly. I have paired that back recently. It's actually been helping my skin a lot. My skin guru, the Shani Darden, um, is not a huge fan of oils. So I was actually watching a video of her recently talking about how oils, she feels like we're really overhyped for your skin and you know, everyone's gonna have their own opinion. So I don't know what's true, um, but I wanted to try this one out because I had heard really good things. So I just got the mini. Next up, I got the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. This is an OG. I'm sure many of you know it. I'm sure many of you have used it or currently use it. It is a lighter weight concealer. It is a very popular one. It's been around forever and I used to use it all the time. 
um, and I stopped. I went for more high coverage concealers. The one I'm using today is like a L'Oreal one that I really like. Um, but lately, especially with wearing less makeup being home so often, I've been opting for light, lighter coverage and I'm getting a bit older. So I feel like when you get, you start seeing the signs of aging on your skin, you want lighter products because the thicker ones just look so bad. So I went back to that guy. So I'm really excited. The next thing I got, the next two items I got are currently sold out, but I did still want to tell you guys. I jumped on this, as I said, as soon as I humanly could, and I'm VIB Rouge, so I was like the first wave of the sale. I got the Whey Scalp and Body Scrub. I love the Whey products, or Whey products. I just absolutely love Jen Atkin. Everything she does seems really good. Most of their products have worked super well for me. I will talk about a couple others that I love from her brand and use all the time. Um, but yeah, I just love Way, and I've really wanted a body scrub. I just don't have kind of more of a gritty one. One thing I love about Way products is they're always beautifully scented. They just smell incredible. And I love using them in the shower because of that. I feel like it's very luxe. It's very like pampering yourself and I highly recommend. That's one of the reasons I've loved the, her products in particular. So I got the scalp and body scrub and I'm really excited. I've also never had a scalp scrub, so we'll see how that goes. The last but not least product I got was Shani Darden, who I mentioned before is my favorite skin person. She's an esthetician from LA. I became obsessed with her like five, six years ago. She's Rosie Huntington Whiteley's esthetician. She has like A-list celebrities like Jessica Alba, et cetera, et cetera. They all have incredible skin. So anything Shani says, I kind of take as holy grail. I think she's so good at her job. And she, I used to order her retinal reform, her like, signature product which I own and use every single day um, she sells she used to sell them all on her own store which she still does online so I would order from the States or when I would go to the States I would pick up her items um, but it was really expensive with like duty and everything to get to Canada so they just started stocking Shani Darden at Sephora and I could not be more excited about it so I have her retinal reform as I said so I picked up her weightless oil-free moisturizer and I'm so excited. Whenever I use Shani products, my skin starts getting so much better. Um, so I think I just need to swear by her products forevermore, even though they're very expensive. Um, so that's the last thing I got. So that's everything that I currently bought and have coming. It has shipped. I'm so excited. It's on its way. Um, I decided to go with items that I didn't currently have. I didn't re-up on my current products. I would have loved to, but I honestly would have spent thousands of dollars if I had done that. So the one thing I might still pick up is the Dry Bar Detox Dry Shampoo. I used that in the past. I haven't used it in a really long time, but I really want another good dry shampoo. So I might pick that up. Now I wanna tell you about some of my go-to Holy Grail products. I'm not gonna go into makeup today because I honestly have been kind of revamping my makeup and trying to find some new things. So for the most part, it's gonna be skincare and body care. Okay, so first things first, my favorite shampoo of late is the Olaplex and the conditioner. So this is their number four and five. It's the Bond Maintenance Shampoo and Conditioner. This one's completely empty and this is my second bottle of the conditioner. I love this stuff. I obviously have color treated hair. It's very long. It's uh, a lot of fine hair, so it's not fine completely. I have like thick hair, um, but it's just a lot of fine consistency, if that makes sense. Um, and if you have hair like me, I would highly recommend look online, read reviews, always the way to go with Sephora. See people who have similar texture to you and what they're saying about it, but I have sworn by this stuff. I keep repurchasing it. I think it's amazing. On the same wavelength, this is the Olaplex oil. This is the number seven, it's their bonding oil. I put this in my ends after I wash my hair and I think this stuff is incredible. It's honestly, I've had it for months and months, probably like four months now, and I still have so much left, maybe even longer. I don't know how I've, I've well, how long I've had this. It's a tiny little bottle, but I swear it lasts. Don't use too much, it might look oily in your hair. Now, this is the Way Body Cleanser. I've never splurged on a body cleanser and I would have never considered getting a body cleanser from Sephora if I'm quite honest with you. 
Body cleansers are like $3 a lot of the time at the grocery store or at the drugstore. And I never thought this was ever something I would purchase, but I did. And let me just say, out of everything that I have purchased, this is one thing that is so surprisingly great. It has made more of an impact than all these other products. It's the tiniest thing, but when I'm having a hot shower, this is so like, it's self-care it's self -care for me. I don't even know how to describe why that is. Its scent is beautiful. It's just very like special. I don't, I, I cannot explain why a body, body wash is special, but it is, and I've really appreciated having this. I like love the smell. It's so refreshing and beautiful, and I just, I'm obsessed with this. I am absolutely going to keep using fancy ass body wash. I don't know why. But anyways, there we go. This is the Shani Darden Retinol Reform. If you are in the market for a new retinol, you want a bit of a stronger one, or if you haven't used retinol before and you've been meaning to try it, Shani Darden's Retinol Reform is phenomenal. It's not cheap. It's absolutely not cheap. Um, and it's not for everyone. Definitely read up about retinol, read up about what you need to do. You have to wear sunscreen every day when you use it. It makes your skin really sensitive to light. Um, but it is, it's transformed my skin. This stuff is so good. I used it when I was in my earlier, when I was in my early 20s, um, early to mid 20s. Um, I would purchase it from the US as I mentioned. I also, when I went to LA, restocked, got a bunch of my friends hooked on our product. Um, and then I stopped using it for years because I was trying to cut some costs. And this one definitely was, especially because I had to get it from the States, it was a more pricey one. But now I've started using it again and I won't, I won't turn back. I won't. Summer Fridays is one of my favorite brands. I think the girls who started it, Lauren and Mariana, are just so genius. The branding of it, the like ethics behind it, um, the products themselves, I think they've done a phenomenal job and all of them have really, really worked for me. So their Super Amino Gel Cleanser is one of my very favorites. It's a new launch this year. It's couldn't, this is a glass bottle. It literally couldn't be more beautiful. Um, it is so good. It's so gentle. Highly recommend if you're in the market for a gentle cleanser, it's a great one. Um, their CC Me Serum is truly my favorite. This is my second bottle. I go through this, I mean, as quickly as you can. I use a pump, one pump every single morning. I splash water on my face, then I do one pump of this, and then I do a um, SPF on top and I use this every single day. It's a brightening vitamin C serum. It's so good. It's not that sticky. I find vitamin C serums are always sticky and for some reason the smell is so good and reminds me of Christmas. That I can't explain. I don't know why but I'm obsessed with that. The replica by the fireplace scent. It, I obviously use this to death. Um, this is my like signature scent. I've, I've used this for ages. It's one of my favorite favorite sm scents It's very woodsy kind of like rich, but it I'm obsessed. I can't even describe I don't know why but this is one of my favorite scents. This brand is a uh, pretty good bang for your buck for perfumes um, Although I will say I almost find this more and it might be actually I don't think it's a perfume I think it's like a more of like a body spray it doesn't seem to linger on you as potent as like perfumes do but that is just nice for some people because sometimes scents are just so overwhelming and i'm obsessed i've used it for months and months and months and it's i think even maybe like a year i've had this forever i spray it almost every day on myself i love it the isle of paradise tanning drops are another favorite these are the light self tanning drops and honestly they're still very intense i do one to two drops in moisturizer and put it all over my face and it adds a lot of color you'll see that the next day and highly recommend the whoa, the laneige lip sl sleeping mask is a classic it's so popular it's great um, I don't go through this super fast. I've only used about that much um, and I've had it for months. It lasts forever, but I also tend to try not to use lip products too often on my lips because it drives your lips out and they will need it more often. And I find that if I use it more sparingly, my lip, my lips contain their natural moisture a lot better. So be careful of using lip products too often. Now, I don't know if this is on Sephora US. 
This is the Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream with SPF. You cannot get this in Canada, that I know. I picked this up in the US. Um, it's the one with like the red strip for the, for the sunscreen. If you can get it on Sephora in the US, highly recommend. I'm gonna check it out before I edit this into it. Now, if you are in the market for a face oil, this is the Biosense Squalene and Vitamin C Rose Oil. This is beautiful. I highly recommend this product. It is not cheap. I feel like most facial oils at Sephora are not cheap, but they last a really long time. This one has rose oil, vitamin C, and squalane, so I feel like it does a lot at once if you are looking to invest in a facial oil. Um, rose, rose hip really helps with like acne scarring and reducing the signs. Vitamin C helps with like brightening. It's a really good product to use every single day. So highly recommend this. Biosense is a beautiful brand. It's clean. It's awesome. Last but not least, the Kerastase Elixir Ultimate Oil. Ultime. Elixir Ultime? I don't know how you pronounce it, but this is the Kerastase oil I have. It's a hair oil. It's very potent and it's gigantic. I don't think I can go through this all if I try. I have had this for honestly like a year and I've used that much product. Um, but it's a really good hair oil if you have really dry hair. Only put this in the ends. You will see it up here. I've tried and you will see like oiliness. Highly recommend this one is also an investment. It's very expensive but obviously like you get so much. If you're in the mood for a really good hair oil to absorb into your ends, that's a good one. All right, there you go, guys. That is my video of all my must-haves from Sephora and then what I chose to actually get in the Sephora sale this time. I will put all the information below if you guys are interested. Thank you so much for watching. I'm sorry it's been so bloody long, and I will see you next time. Bye.